Today we're taking you to Defunct Town. <laughs> Let's talk about that. Good mythical morning. Yes, today is a new edition of us playing with discontinued toys while sneaking in a little history lesson. Rhett, are you implying that we are not only vastly entertaining, but also deceptively educational? <sighs> yes, I am, and now that you've put the audience to sleep with the word educational, I'm gonna do something stupid to put us back on track. Okay. <laughs> Give me those old toys, I wanna touch them. <laughs> All right, yeah, we're... Back on track, I guess. It's time for To Be Discontinued More, 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 More Products Edition. 1991's Susie Snapshot was an Instagram model before anyone even knew the word selfie. So oh. let's look at the commercial. It's not creepy in any way. Susie Snapshot loves oh. to pose for the camera. Just aim, snap, and watch her pose. Oh. Just snap, snap, and there she goes. Oh. Susie Snapshot loves to pose. Snap, snap. <laughs> Just snap away and watch her pose. Susie Snapshot comes with play camera and hair accessories. Batteries not included from Galoob. Hey girls, you wanna learn how to be a narcissist? <laughs> we got it. Susie Snapshot. Look at, this is a nice box. I just kind of want to put her out on the tarmac at the airport and see what happens. <laughs> she Planes moves. running into each other. And poses like a real mom. You're telling me that we've got one of these from 1991 and it still works? Oh, and she stuns. Come on, let's, do we have the... Let's be a little modest here. Let's get Come on now. the... Be a um, little modest. Let's get this uh, camera out. When this thing flashes, uh -huh. Her, this is the secret, okay? Just between me and you. Her heart necklace picks up on the flashing light. You ready, Susie? I think she's just a natural. Yes. You ready to, you ready to pose, Susie? Oh, 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 she just, she's like, she okay. moved a little. Hello. Oh. 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 What you doing, you looking at me now? <laughs> oh, oh. Yeah. Work it, girl. Work it. Work it. She, work a, it. She's a little it. limited in her. She's not in her poses. I thought it said like hundreds of poses. Well, she just did a lot of them, but they're all pretty similar. Think about how many poses there are between this and this. I mean, there's this, and 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 there's this, yeah, and there's this, and there's there's hundreds of poses. And this is good to learn because like. When you go on a red carpet, like we do, uh, very occasionally, yeah, right. we learn very quickly that like, it's freaking awkward to be out there and like people are taking your picture and they expect you to do this. I've never done this. This, is, never done this, this? is gonna be my new thing. I, I usually just do like this and then this and then we have our handshake thing and I maybe have hands in the pockets. Right. But Susie is teaching me all kinds of things. Well, her right arm does not move at all. Let me see. Look. Is oh, that, that is that an just, error or that, is that is that cost cutting? You know measures? what? I might. I believe that might just be a an age. And she's, she's older than she looks. Oh, I can hold it down. What? Oh, oh, no! Oh, oh, we're reaching a new level. She's dancing. <laughs> I think we're what, exposing the fact that her, she her doesn't right arm, do much. Her, no, her right arm is is, is damaged. You see, she's you been look, sleeping when on she it. She was fresh in 1991 when she was just loving life. She was she could hold a scrunchie. Yo, she could do all kinds of things. For 91, like I, I'm. I'm impressed. You haven't talked about that. I mean, yeah. look at look at her movement controlled via mobile camera. I Pretty mean, cool. I'm very impressed with this. Look at her dead glittery eyes. I uh, love this. I think this is, um, you know, give her a knife. She can turn into like a Susie serial killer. Uh, I'm just kind of amazed by the technology. I mean, as a man that lives in 2022 and uh, is, is looking for even more fun in my life, I feel like I could have hours of fun with this. Don't be weird. <laughs> I do think we should bring it back, but it does need to print the pictures. Uh, that is the problem. She doesn't show up in any of the pictures, so she's actually Susie Vampire. Oh, snap. Mm -hmm. That's cool. But, Susie Snapshot. Bring, bring it back. back. If you were playing with toys in 1992, and you liked playing with Mr. Potato Head, but you were also a sociopath, mm. then Monster Face probably became your new obsession after seeing this commercial. It's the gruesome monster head you make and remake into the most monstrous monsters imaginable. Now for the test. Oh, yeah. 
monster face comes with everything shown here. Ha! Huh, it made mom toss her own salad. Yep. <laughs> Yeah, I, I'm excited about this. This, I mean, it's pretty cool. There's, it is potato head. Happy cotton candy day, daddies. Hey, Randy. Hey, Randy. You want to hear a sweet nothing? Oh, well, of course, yeah. <laughs> when you're asleep, I braid your leg hairs. Thank, thank you. <laughs> I know that you're the one who writes all that GMM fan fiction. <laughs> Whoa! Oh, yeah. Whoa, hey, How? you got a monster face! Yeah, we do. We we do. We got this. We paid two hundred and seventy-eight dollars for this on eBay. Oh man, so cool! That's my former pet. That, oh, that really? that's great. You 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 know about monster face? Oh yeah, monster face got me through some tough times. That guy will eat peanut butter off anything. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, he ran away when some loud fireworks went off in the neighborhood. I'm so glad he's okay. I'd love to stay and play. Uh, oh, well, want, we don't have a you chair. Want to stay? Oh. Oh, well, cool. Okay. Thanks, Chair Fairy. We do. We do have a. Come yeah, sit, sit love down, to Randy. Sit. Join us, love Randy. To sit. I'm willing to do this after our one therapy session. Cool. I'm glad we're making progress. Yeah. <laughs> Is this how you got him to eat the peanut butter? <laughs> oh yeah, you really got to crank that thing. Like that? Don't so, break it. I'm, what I'm this excited about this one. Oh, look at that! It moves the eyes. What is? Oh, I what guess is this that? is the upper jaw. What is this? That's whatever you want it to be. Just use your imagination. So you don't know. You never played with it in, in the proper way. I bet. You don't need to follow the instructions. Just use your imagination. It, oh yeah, it is an eye extension, which is cool. This is kind of cool. This looks like something that would be on, you know, your person. Oh yeah. Yeah, do you want to help me unwrap this pink cylinder? Not, not particularly. We got some ears. We got some ears on here. How old were you when you played with this guy? I was just a young cotton candy monster. And I was learning a lot about myself. Were you, were you lonely? Do you have any siblings? Yo, I had lots of siblings. I had a garbage bag filled of bees. Oh, okay. Filled of bees. Filled of bees. <laughs> yeah, that's how you would say that. That's how anyone would say that. And then, oh, you can actually, you want to put some teeth in this thing? Yeah, stick some teeth in there. Look, well, I mean. Stick some chompers on his head. Who cares? Mouth, maybe. Use your imagination. Now, this used to be the monster glop, but as you can see, now it's just a maraca. Just throw it, throw it in there anyway. I think Rick might be getting jealous because we're actually playing with something together. Yeah, oh. this is actually kind of fun. And our knees are touching under the table. And look at this. Is look that what this. that wet thing is? <laughs> yeah, I have wet knees. I was I was playing in my stink puddle before oh, I came here. I think we broke the, uh, this is supposed to make that thing pump up. Yeah, this is like a, like a boil or a cyst. It's not working anymore. Go harder, go faster. Hey, you guys like to eat stuff, right? You want to eat this pink cylinder? Come on. Yeah, Link does. I, no, I don't really want to eat. Th no, thank you. you want no, it? thank you. No, thank you. Here, I'll no, do an Ash Wednesday no, on your you. forehead. <laughs> oh, is it? I didn't know you were religious. Yeah, yeah I'm Catholic. <laughs> oh. yeah, I've been super Catholic this whole time. You've been uh, for the whole time. Yeah, I love the Pope. I mean, especially because we paid $278 for this. Uh, I'm feeling like we need to validate it by bringing it back. I think that this is like, it will help desensitize kids to scary things. Because if you're like scared of scary things as you grow up, I think you're, you're at a disadvantage in society. I'm assuming you want to bring this thing back. You'd like to see it on shelves. Yeah, oh yeah, I think that would be great. I think every kid needs to learn that you can just stick an ear wherever, you know? It's a great lesson to learn. In an effort to get you to leave, I'll, I'll give you this. Oh my gosh, and all I have to do is leave? Yeah. What yeah. do I get if I stay? Um, not this or anything else. And you can take the tray with you? Whoa, cool. All right. All right, you want, you want the box? Bye. Yeah, <laughs> heck yeah. All right, D don't. Don't take that to mass. <laughs> All right. Bye, daddies. I'll see you at confession. <laughs> Some monster face. Bring, Bring it back. back. Okay, a lot of people seem to be pretty excited about the new Barbie movie with Margot Robbie. Yeah. But you know, Barbie has been through her fair share of criticism since 1959. Uh -huh. And I think as a response to that, in the year 2000, a new doll line came out called Smarties. 
and the New York Times dubbed them the anti-Barbie. Because Ooh, the dolls were all based fired. around serious careers like veterinarians and entrepreneurs and attorneys. Because, you know, Barbie couldn't do that already. <laughs> hey. So we got our hands on Emily, Emily for $80 and Jessica for $25. Do you want to start your own business, but you're a woman? <laughs> yeah. Do you want to tell people what's happening, but, but you're, you're a, a woman? woman? <laughs> Barbie is really shaking in her really expensive boots in her Malibu mansion when these things hit the hit the, well, hit the here stores. Here on the side, this says collect all four because everybody knows women can only choose from four careers. Hold on, no, 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 no. Mine says collect all six. Oh, women, you got two more options. So you can be a politician, you can be a doctor, you can be a veterinarian, you can be an entrepreneur, you can be an artist. Okay, so you open her up. I'm not gonna open up Jessica because every picture of Jessica has uh, red hair, but then when I look at Jessica, she has a little bit of blonde hair, and then if I look in the bottom of this box, there is just like one loose shoe and a bunch of like asbestos like shards of hair. If you want to take Emily who I think is safe to open. I have Emily's, I'm not. Emily the Entrepreneur, which is a word I can never say. Now this, is, I mean, this is cool, because I mean, you know, it's, um, they said that they got emails from parents that said, thank you for letting my daughter focus on what she wants to be when she grows up, not just what she wants to wear. Okay. okay. Well, and, and ba Barbie had professions though. She did, but not like this. And Stevie, I want you to listen up, okay? Because, <laughs> Emily is an entrepreneur. She started her own teddy bear company. And I know that your early career was at um, Build a Bear. Build a Bear. And so this yeah. could have been your path, and maybe it still can well, be. See, I, there's I, the bear. I wanted to, I studied to go into stuffed animals. So, um, it just didn't pan out. For well, me. With Syracuse University, stuffed animals degree. So, I mean, I just, I'm just going to read it to you because this could be your business plan. And Emily Clay is an entrepreneur. She wanted. She knew she wanted to start her own business when she was just 11 years old. On her 11th birthday, she got a teddy bear as a gift. It was ugly and not very soft. It was not very huggable either. That was when Emily decided to start her own business at 11? You get it, girl? Um, huh. She named her company Teddy and Friends Incorporated, so you can't use that. <laughs> it she sounds like the name of a gay bar, to be honest. <laughs> <laughs> She's the president of her own company and she keeps teddy bears on her desk, people. You can have your cake and eat it too. Surprisingly, the spacing and size of that font does look like when I read on my Kindle. So <laughs> yeah, right. Um, okay, here's the thing I think about this. Oh, there's a glossary. Uh, would you, what would you like me to tell you? What a day planner is? Well, yeah. A day planner is a book you use to write down important stuff you don't want to forget, like friends' birthdays and their phone numbers. Okay. This glossary is half the book. It's got 26 things. Typing is to write something down using a typewriter or a computer. Well, it's not for our age. Are what? you, number 17, impressed? This is what you feel when someone did a really good job on something. <laughs> hey, okay, I appreciate the sentiment of this, and I know what they were trying to do, but I don't I think, think we're in a position as to say no. Well, to as we're dim no, here's the thing. I'm going to speak for all women right now and say uh, that I think this is a little patronizing. I feel like if we were to do this for boys and we were to be like smart friends for smart boys, we'd right. be like, uh, okay. So I appreciate the fact that like Barbie has created this expectation or this standard of what, you know people feel like they need to measure themselves against and that needs to be kind of broken down and maybe Barbie the company is doing that in this way. But it just feels like probably the better thing to do is just like, unfortunately, just stop making Barbies. <laughs> but I don't no, think they're gonna no, do no, that. No. We haven't I even mean, seen the movie yet. Yeah, yeah. I, until, and after the movie. I bet it's gonna do, do everything right. So that is an interesting thing about the movie. Is the movie, obviously the movie's gonna be super self-aware, right? Because it it's being to. made in 2022. So I wonder how they're gonna tackle these complex issues, Link. Well, if they suck, then we're gonna have a Smarties movie. Do you wanna have a- We're a, gonna be in it. I can be her personal assistant, and you can be her pool guy. Okay, well, I think we're gonna have to have a number 20 meeting about this. This is when people get together to talk about important things. 
Okay. Should we just let the let the, the women in the room vote for this? I don't know. Yeah, we're gonna. Does anybody, what's so, the sentiment all right, here? Women, I don't all know. The women, no. It, hold on, no. Let's just let them say it. No. You guys are gonna say bring it back or nah, that's whack. Just whatever comes to your heart. Smarties, Smarties dolls. dolls. Nah, that's whack. Before we see this mystery item, we're continuing to celebrate my birthday, the month of October. We're just going all the way. Birthday month. I'm giving you. Discounts on second and third degree monthly and quarterly subscriptions for the Mythical Society. I'm just feel, I'm in a very giving mood. So second degree is uh, normally ten dollars. It's gonna be seven dollars. Boom. Uh, third degree monthly normally twenty. It's gonna be fifteen. Bam. Third degree quarterly normally fifty five. It's gonna be forty four. Zing. Now this promotion ends Tuesday the twenty fifth of October. So go over to MythicalSociety.com for details. All right. Under this close lies our mystery discontinued product. We don't know what it is. We don't know what it does. Let's see if we can figure it out. That's right, Link. Today's mystery product is a reproduction. <laughs> <laughs> it is a reproduction. You being choked by a teddy bear? 1926. Uh, I just, it was a spur of the moment voice, oh, and the voice distracted right. me from reading. I thought you took a peek at your day planner in the middle of that <laughs> sentence. Yeah. yeah. Like, whose birthday is it today? <laughs> Uh, 1926, go ahead and reveal it. Don't touch it, even though you always kind of do. So you can kind of touch it if you want. What? Um, and well, obviously then, uh, it goes over your ears. Yeah, why, yeah, sure, pick it up. I don't know, touch it. Tell, you tell said me don't you touch think. it. I know, but you but always But then you the said rules. you always do. Yeah. So you know what? I don't want to touch it. Okay, great. Okay, then I will. My reverse psychology worked. Why wouldn't we... Why wouldn't she want us to touch it? Is it hurting? I feel like my beard. Oh, yep. Oh, yep. Yep. My beard get caught in it. My beard get caught. That's exactly why I didn't want you to touch it. All right. I gotta oh. take my glasses off to put these other glasses on. This has to be how it goes. So you put it here, and then it, it, what? Now what? Is it like a two, now like what? a twofer? Does mine do something to yours? I thought maybe I would. I thought it would be up here, and when I. Open my, yeah. it would keep my mouth. These might be a little, uh, a little longer and larger. Ow! You know, they're reproductions. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Son yeah. of a, Lucas. So is it, is, it, is, it, is this headgear? Would I have a chin if I had worn this in 1926? This, this is supposed to keep your, this is a punitive thing when you talk. Okay, those are your guesses, chin maker and <laughs> talk punisher. All right, so what if it goes up like this? There we go. Oh, it's, it's a it's, it's a, a headache stopper. It's a headache stopper. I'm afraid to no. pull my hair out, but okay, because uh, it it pulled the hairs out of maybe my. Maybe it's a musical we, instrument. We could not find like the actual original product. That's why uh, Lucas had to recreate it. But this is actually the dimple maker from 1920s. Here here's a photo of their original. So, oh. so you're supposed to put it. On your like under your cheekbones, and it yeah. I think we just don't have enough tension here. Do you remove and then the 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 dimples stay, or is it just I you have it, to keep this on? I think it gives you. Well, I, I'm pretty sure you don't keep it on because that would be a little distracting. You probably get like a seven minute dimple. You're not gonna get a permanent dimple because. I don't know how dimples work, but I'm pretty sure it's not because somebody pokes you for a long time. So if somebody has a dimple and they really want you to see it, it looks like. A invisible finger or needle is pointing down this, and this like atta it. attaching the inside of their face. This is desperate, what's stupid, your, what's and dangerous. What's your opinion on dimples? If if you could get some, would you do it? I mean, obviously, you want to describe them as cute, um, but uh, I'm along with most anything. It can also be hot. What? <laughs> so, but both of those are positive. Everything's positive. Cute man. and hot. I'm keeping it positive. Um, Am I gonna say something negative about dimples? Oh, they can gather dirt, dust, and mites. You do have to keep them clean. You do have to keep them clean. Dig out your dimples if you got them. Uh, so let's let the women make a decision on this. Uh, just, I'm trying to keep them empowered here. Uh, dimple maker. Yeah, okay. Less women participated in that because now they feel like what we are doing is patronizing. Uh, yeah, well. You see? No, but it's just kind of, hey, wait. I'm just joking, man. We can't win. It's just we a joke. We have balls. Okay, so the only thing that we decided, well, yeah, two things. Susie, Snapshot, and Monster Face. Maybe we can put them together and see how they get along. Thanks for subscribing and clicking that bell. You and know what time I'm, it is. I'm sorry, ladies. It's women. 
I'm sorry too. I'm Terry. I'm Issa. We're from Central Pennsylvania. And we're hoarding all these products in hopes they become discontinued and Red and Link buy them from us in 20 to 30 years. Couldn't they also be hoarding these products so they don't have to buy it from us? And, and now, now it's time, time to spin the wheel of mythicality. I like the way you guys think. <laughs> I mean, that's that, that's planning ahead. That's a retirement plan right there. That video is a lot of things. Click the top link to watch us discover weird and forgotten television shows that were based on movies and good mythical things. And to find out where the Will of Mythicality is gonna land. Enjoy special deals for my birthday on the Mythical Society through October 25th. MythicalSociety.com for details.